let's get lit with literature. Hi, my name is Nadine and I'm part of Math Mania. I teach grade five in Edmonton, Alberta, and we want to do a feature on literature for you. Welcome to Let's Get Lit, our feature with literature. So some people were asking about books and literature. So I have picked a few books that we're going to feature. Periodically, we'll throw them in there um, of how you can use them, what they're about, what strand you can use them for, and where you can get them from. So here we have a book that I'm going to introduce to you. It's called Apple Fractions by Jerry Pelota and illustrated by Rob Bolster. Some people are asking how you introduce or how you use literature in your math. Usually people look at books as being just in language arts. Literature needs to be used in music, in social studies, in math, in language arts, throughout your whole curriculum. To me, you could use it so many different ways. The book I've picked today is called Apple Fractions. And how I use it in my, in my lessons is you can start it by reading it as an introduction to your lesson. You can do it partway through and get the children to journal about how they see everyday fractions. It will really give you a good idea on how they are understanding fractions and if you need to move on. So with this book, how I used it in my grade five class is I started reading the book and then I would stop at a certain point and look at Macintoshes. So I went to Safeway and I brought, bought every different apple that was in the book and we actually physically cut them. So we talked about this page and I'm like, well, I have an apple for you. And then we would cut it in half and physically show them. Then we would go to the next fraction and this apple. And then we would cut it again. So they talk about half. Then we get a golden delicious, delicious apple out and we would cut it into thirds. At the end, we would all share the apples. Now I know everyone out there is going, but COVID, COVID, this was done uh, two or three years ago. Um, so what you could do is you could cut it at a later date um, at home or at home friends. Uh, this could be a supplementary activity that you could do with your students or children at home with online learning. So another way to use this a piece of literature or any piece of liter literature, as they're reading, they can journal. So take out your book like as if you were playing a piece of music and they could draw a picture, how it makes them feel. While you're reading math books, get them to draw pictures that they remember, they can reflect, relate on, just like in language arts, and then they can share what they've drawn or talk about what they've drawn to you to show you everyday fractions. It's very important in everything that you're really relating it back to something they know. They're going to remember these books even more. Thanks for checking out Let's Get Lit. Stay tuned for more math books. Math is awesome!